Well, another good opportunity to take a look at some of these storms making their way into our area. You really see that stark contrast between the sun and those clouds pushing in. You see that frontal system come in. That's what happens right before the storm starts to hit. That's kind of that early warning, and sometimes people can mistake that for the actual storm itself. As it pushes through our area, you kind of see it make its way towards us on oh, over the north and then you get an idea of just how fast those storms push into our area and just how dark it gets you saw that lightning really roll in there and then we get a good idea of those conditions right now temperatures drop down to the 60s that's very quick about a 30 degree drop from earlier today and we're continuing to see that humidity really jump up there while those winds are really picking up out of the north seeing those gustier conditions up to 58 miles per hour recorded in some areas across the Concho Valley and I was speaking with our technical director a little bit about what to expect over the the next 48 hours as this big large frontal system starts to push its way out of our area you see a lot of that moisture being pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico or more or less from Mexico as we talk about another subtropical jet pushing more moisture up into this area where you will see another low pressure system that is starting to spin over here because it's so hot well that low pressure system is starting to sandwich a sort of a high pressure system over here in Nebraska where they were seeing severe weather and that's causing this trifecta of pulling of moisture really into the Concho Valley and I'm getting a closer look at that fire hose of just moisture that's pushing its way into our areas you start to see how explosive it gets once it kind of reaches off the Edwards Plateau you're really starting to get a good look at those storms making their way in from across Midland and then let me get out of the way as you see these storms pushing off from San Angelo where we were seeing a lot of the flash flood warning still in effect Midland getting hit again as it starts to make its way look how fast that storm is just trucking from the northwest down to the southeast headed right towards us so we're going to keep you here in the loop making sure you're keeping your phone close by keep those alerts up you want to make sure you're aware in case there's any hail any other severe weather any flash flooding I know it's Friday night so if you're gonna be doing any traveling see if you can't keep it on pause or keep it to a minimum only unnecessary travel being aware of those flash flood prone areas right now severe weather warnings being issued for Brown County so a little bit out of our area but those storms quickly making their way off to the east and in towards that I-35 corridor where we're gonna continue to see those storms develop and then again over to the northwest of us we're seeing those storms starting to develop getting a good idea of the high-res future cast what to expect and this storm is actually going to do quite exactly what you think it does it's going to move down to the southeast and once it gets down there we start to see it interact with that more warm moisture coming up from the southwest and that storm will meet up with that moisture and come back up into our area again to see those scattered rain showers I mean, you're talking about making your way out to Fort Concho doing any other the Saturday activities I do believe farmers market things like that gonna be kind of in that severe weather outlook gap so we're going to be seeing a lot of more wet rainy conditions throughout the rest of the week and when we're talking about a lot of that flash flooding so we're getting a good idea of the upper level pattern that low pressure system with the frontal system going to be pushing off to the east and I want to draw your attention to the west coast and sort of this area across the Rocky Mountain Four Corners region where you're going to see an unusually deep troughing that wouldn't normally be associated with sort of the system that far behind well that system is actually that low pressure where you're going to see it wrap around with what's going to come down the west coast and that's going to be pulling more moisture into our area look how strong the gradient is and just how quickly that storm is going to move down to the south which is very unusual movement for this sort of area and then you'll see intense ridging right behind or in front of it so we're going to be seeing a lot of dynamic weather making its way through there as you see the moisture track we're going to pull that moisture really up from the south and really push that dry air out to the east and then you see again right up sort of that dry line and more moisture the front track are going to show you just how much that low pressure system here is going to pull that moisture in to our area and really interact with those those hotter temperatures in the afternoon giving us those p.m. thunderstorms like we're seeing right now temperatures really dropping about 30 degrees across the Concho Valley and that's really going to take us into the night where we'll see those low temperatures drop a couple more degrees and those cloud cover really going to keep those temperatures low as we can make our way into tomorrow seeing it kind of keep those things from warming up as much as it has but we will see those scattered rain showers making their way in there when once we get towards that afternoon so we're seeing again those scattered showers those temperatures really drop because of that cloud cover and those rainier conditions and then as that cloud cover starts to break up earlier and earlier throughout the week going to see that gradual warm up back up into the 90s sun's going to come back out give us more of the necessary elements we're going to need for more severe weather but those low temperatures really going to stay down into those 60s stay tuned we'll have more up after the break you're watching KSAN News at 10.